I remember when the, I first uh, w first got the radio that I could actually get the third program from Athens, and we heard I heard classical music for the first time. Actually, the music of Bach. It's just the experience was so immense, even though I had absolutely no reference for it. That uh, I just decided on the spot that this is what I wanted. Christos Hatches was 16 when he heard classical music for the first time, and by the time he was 22, he was in the United States pursuing his PhD in music composition. At 29, he chose to make Canada his home. In fact, I remember I was driving with friends the first time, and we were still in the Gardiner. We have not even gone uh, inside Toronto, really. And uh, just taking a look at the city and just announced to everybody, I said, this is going to be my home, uh, which is kind of crazy now that I think about it in retrospect. But it, it had a certain kind of gravity and, and uh, um, some kind of connection with the city, which has not left me. Although he had just finished his doctorate in music, Christos immigrated to Canada as a nightclub musician. He played with bands in Greek coffee houses to make a living while building his portfolio as a classical music composer. These were difficult times for Christos. The classical music establishment did not accept him. His music style was eclectic, inspired by a wide variety of cultures, different than the accepted stylistic preferences of the 80s. It was only after Toronto became multicultural that his classical new music began to win support, and he was able to make a living as a contemporary composer. Then, in 1995, he was hired as an associate professor at the University of Toronto's Faculty of Music. Today, Christos is considered one of Canada's most important composers. He's composed and produced a number of works based on the music and culture of the Inuit. The work has been performed and broadcast around the world, making many listeners aware for the first time of the Inuit and their culture. The work with the Inuit was incredibly sensitive and responsive to uh, a very deep-seated part of our culture that most of us don't know anything about. And it was valued by somebody who came from another culture. Probably Probably that's w what allowed him to gain access to the heart of, of that music and those people. His multimedia project, Constantinople, explores the uniqueness of the Canadian social landscape as a place where people of diverse and sometimes conflicting cultural and ethnic backgrounds find a common ground. <laughs> The different kinds of music would be anything from straightforward chamber mu classical chamber music to Middle Eastern chant, uh, Islamic Sufi songs, uh, Byzantine Christian chants, um, jazz, um, electroacoustic uh, uh, elements that just kind of surround the audience in a surround sound system, visual projections and staging. Christos inspires and encourages young composers to be socially and culturally responsive to their environment. He shares his knowledge and experience not only with students, but also with new immigrants who are artists, performers, and composers. Musically, I think that uh, his contribution to Canadian music is probably one of the best examples for an immigrant uh, artist uh, who is on the way of becoming a composer. His work has been commissioned, performed, recorded, and broadcast worldwide by artists and ensembles such as Patricia Rosario, Shauna Rolston, Patrick Galois, the St. Lawrence String Quartet, the English Chamber Choir, the Griffin Trio, the Elmer Eisler Singers, and the Tafel Music Baroque Orchestra. Christos is the first composer ever commissioned by the Tafel Music. An award-winning composer, Christos is the recipient of the Jean A. Chalmers National Music Award, the Jules Leger Prize, the Prix Bohemia Radio Special Prize, and the Prix Italia Special Prize. Considered the greatest broadcasting award in the world, it was the first time it was awarded to a Canadian composer. In addition to composing and teaching, Christos writes about music. His work is widely published, and recently one of his essays was selected from among millions of web pages as a key resource page on music. Christos doesn't just write for himself, but as a way of communicating with people. The value of art is 
not in the work itself, but in, in its ability to share that value with others. So um, the most fulfilling part for me, uh, well, I mean, I should say that th there are moments in, in within the creative experience when you're totally isolated and you're lost into that other world of sound or of any kind of artistic discipline where art making becomes its own reward in many ways. But there's nothing like when that thing is shared, it becomes like part of a concert where people begin to respond to it. Christos shares his life with his wife, percussionist Beverly Johnson, and Maria, her old daughter.